Hi there, this is Vansh and in this video we are going to install and configure the social post twitter module in Drupal 8. So this is my default Drupal installation. Ok, let's go to the social post page. First of all, yeah, we can go to it by social API. Yeah, we are in the social post module page, so we can find the social post Twitter here. So basically, social post Twitter enables us to tweet our content or any comment made on our website automatically. So to install social post Twitter, we can see the documentation here. Social post Twitter is created by GVSO and it uh, is supporting its supporting organizations are Google Server of Code and Google Coding. Okay, so here is the installation instructions for social post Twitter. Well it will be installed in four steps. So step one is create an app and get credentials from apps.twitter.com. So, and step two is download social post twitter to the module directory of your drupal's installation but do not enable the module yet step three is enable social post twitter module and configure it and step four it will be tweeting our content or comments that we just be made okay so first of all we have to create a twitter app and this i have already created my app and I have a developer account. So here is my app, and I already created it. So here we we get consumer API keys uh, to integrate Twitter's API what API in our website. This is the API key, and this is the API secret. Uh, this will be required by our website so we have created our twitter app so um, in step 2 we are going to download social post twitter and twitter or OAuth library using composer ok so for that we need to install social api and social post modules also because social post twitter module requires all or requires the two of or both of them also you can see here also social post twitter 2.x requires social post 2.x and social api 2.x to install all these modules and their dependency correctly run uh, okay so we have this composer command with us that will install all three modules in our website so let's just copy it and i am going to install it on my website so I'll have to run putty. One second. Yeah. I'm using a putty to install to run my command line, the SSH commands. This is the terminal for my SSH. So I'll just enter my credentials. Okay, so our Putty server is ready. So I'll go to hey, this is the root directory for my Drupal website. So I'm going to run my command in this directory so that it can store all three modules. Oh, sorry. I'm going to copy it again and I run it. Okay, so composer.json has been updated. It has started to install these. It is going to take a bit of time. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so all three modules are installed now. Let's go back to our website.
this food to extend when we scroll down we'll see all three modules are here under social so we all the requirements are fulfilled now social post Twitter requires social post and social API we'll just enable all three of them and install okay so we have completed step two also now let's move on to step three enable and configure social post twitter module well now the composer has downloaded the library so we just need to configure our module we can either copy this or we can directly go from our website well three modules are completed so i'm just going to paste it here the two slash okay so we are here in twitter settings we have to paste our api key and api secret from twitter developers i'm just going to copy this paste it here and i already have my api secret in it so we have to paste the api key and api secret let's save configuration okay so configuration options have been saved now the next step is a user setup you have to set up a new user or we can even we can even give privileges to our admin user here uh, we can use our admin user also or we can create a user I'm going to create a user and the email address I'm going to give my email address well this is going to be my name and I'm going to give it a password okay so I'm going to give it administration rights time zone we can set it to my time zone Kolkata let's create new account okay so as a, a new user is created let's go back to site now I'm going to log out and log in with my new user okay so well it is already saved here but I can log in it now as we are logged in here remember for 37 seconds we have a role we have permissions we go to the account edit page where here we'll go to people I'm going to my account edit oh, edit I can go account directly yeah so we are here and now we can see the option of social post twitter here so I'm going to add my twitter account here now twitter has redirected us to its page and we have to authorize our app this is my app that I created there so I just have to authorize it okay it will redirect us back okay the account added successfully so our user is set up now so now the final step will be to tweet like we have to create either we can copy this code or we can use the rules module to install to create an action that will post automatically or that will tweet automatically on our twitter account uh, whatever content we post or comment is made or any action we select so let us install the rules module i'm going to use uh, i can install it by various options i can i'll use composer okay in my main directory i'm just going to install it composer require then drupal slash rules okay 
so it has started just taking a bit time just going to okay so our rules module is installed now let us enable it in extend I'll scroll here and and uh, we have the type data module well the composer has installed the type data module along with the rules module because rules module requires type data also so we'll en enable all both of them okay so both our modules are enabled now so we have to create a rule uh, we'll go to configuration and here are rules okay I'm going to add reaction rule here I'm going to select I'm going to add a label I would say content tweet well we can select anything tags if you want reaction on event i'm going to select after saving new content let's save okay so there are conditions and actions i'm going to add an action this action will be our tweet let's continue okay so tweet content specify the status to post now the instructions tell us that you can add the action tweet and add status text value for example putting the value node.title.value dot value well we can put here node.title.value dot value or we can put here node dot body dot value whatever type of field we want to publish so I'm going to save Now we just need to save okay so it is saved now let us create a content type let us create content and see if it is working or not let us create an article testing social post twitter Okay, so I'm just going to publish, save it. Okay, so our article is created. Now let's go to twitter.com. Okay, so you can see here uh, 11 seconds, 34 seconds ago, we I just tweeted testing social post Twitter. My account went through and I just tweeted this the content that we created so that is how we install and configure social post twitter module in drupal 8 so thank you